All right, guys, the first step in any proper vehicle alignment is going to be a good thorough vehicle inspection. Where I like to start on heavy duty trucks is right here at the right front wheel. The first thing I'm going to do is just take my rag, wipe all the dirt off of it, and I'm just going to run my hand along the tire and I'm looking for any feathering or tapering on the edges. And right now I can feel there's a little bit of a taper on this right side edge and I can indicate we got something going on with our alignment. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and unlatch this hood and we're going to move around to the other side. All right, so over here on the left side, we're going to do the same thing. Let's clear the tire off. I'm going to give it a feel. I don't feel any feathering or tapering. This tire feels okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo this hood latch. Now we're going to open the hood and we're going to take a closer look at some of the steering components on this truck. Okay, so we got our hood open. Now we can take a closer look at some of our steering components here. And the components we're going to be taking a look at are going to be the steering shafts, the steering shaft view joint, the gearbox, the pitman arm, and the drag link that's attached to it. So how we do our check is I'm just going to grab the steering shaft and oscillate it back and forth. First, I'm going to look at for look at and see if we have any play in the universal joint. That looks okay. Now I'm going to look down at the gear uh, the gearbox shaft that comes out and attaches to the pitman arm. When I'm, what I'm looking for is in and out shaft play, and I want to make sure the pitman arm itself is not loose on the shaft. And all that looks okay. So now we're going to move down the line to the drag link connectors, and we want to see if they're loose right at the connection between the pitman arm and the drag link and on down to the spindle. And everything looks good down there, so let's move on to the rear of the vehicle. Okay, the first thing I'm going to take a look at on the rear axles is this front air leaf bushing. This is located on the front of the leaf spring and basically all I'm looking for right here, I'm going to get down to eye level with it and see if I can see any light coming through from the other side. And this one looks okay, so let's move on back to the, uh, the next axle and we'll check some shocks and the, the other air leaf bushings and we'll move on from there. All right, now we're at the rearmost axle. I'm gonna check the next air leaf bushing. And again, I'm looking right here and all I'm looking for is to see if light's coming through to the other side. This one looks okay. So let's check the shocks and then we'll move to the other side. All right, now we're gonna take a quick look at our shock absorber. And all I'm looking for here is to make sure the bushing's in good shape, the shock mount's in good shape. And I wanna make sure this uh, shock's not leaking any oil. This one looks just fine. The bushing's all intact. There's no cracks or split. It's not broken. And I don't see any oil residue on the lower part of the shock, so it's not leaking. And also, while I'm standing here, I'm going to take a look at this vertical stabilizer, otherwise known as a dog bone on the other side. And all I'm checking on it is I want to make sure the rubber's not broken and falling out of it. Um, this one looks a little worn, but it's okay. It's not, it doesn't have any play in it, so we'll move on to the next one. All right, so I'm at my next shock absorber here, and we're looking for the same thing as the last one. I want to check the bushing, make sure it's in good shape, make sure the shock mount's in good shape, and make sure we're not leaking any oil. And this one looks just fine. Um, bushing's fully intact, doesn't look worn at all, and we don't have any dampness on the lower part of the shock. And while I'm standing here, I'm going to take a look at, this, at the next vertical stabilizer. And unfortunately, this one looks slap wore out. So we're going to have to get this replaced before we can perform a proper alignment on this vehicle. And um, this, this is a, a really big reason why you want to perform a thorough vehicle inspection. And I prefer to do it out in the parking lot. As soon as the service rider hands me the, the paperwork for this truck, I do my vehicle inspection as soon as I can. Now I can go ahead and get this part coming and I don't have to pull it into the bay. And then I go ahead and start my alignment. Then I'll realize, oh no, I got to replace the dog bone. And then we have to pull the truck back out, wait for parts, and then pull the truck back in and do an alignment. It's way easier to go ahead and knock out your vehicle inspection test drive as soon as you can, and then you get all the parts you need, get the truck in shape, and then you can get everything square. All right, so now I'm standing directly behind the truck, and what I'm looking for here, I'm looking at all four of these airbags, and I wanna make sure they're standing straight up and not leaned way over. And these got a little bit of a lean to them, but they, they look okay, nothing we needed to adjust or anything like that. If they were leaned way over, we need to make an adjustment or potentially get some new parts. All right, so I finished going through the passenger side of the vehicle on the rear. All the shocks, all the air leaf bushings looked okay. Um, the next step I'm going to do is I need to get my paperwork up to the service rider, and we need to get that dog bone sold and get a new part coming so I can uh, throw the new dog bone on and take it for a test drive. After that, we can pull it up to the machine and actually start making adjustments. All right, so we've got our new dog bone installed, and after that, the next step is going to be to take it for a test drive. Now, I've already driven this vehicle after I got my new part installed. Um, I didn't notice any nasty pulls, um, no low-speed shimmies or anything like that. It actually drove pretty well. So the next step, uh, I want to take my jack and jack the front end up, and I'm going to check the king pins and the tie rod ends. And after that, we're ready to get the vehicle in front of the machine and actually get some alignment readings and make some adjustments.
All right, so we got the truck lifted up in the front. Next thing I'm gonna do is open the hood. I waited till after I got it lifted up because if the hood's open, it'll get in your way while you're trying to lift it up. All right, now that we got the hood open, the next step, I'm gonna rotate the tire so my valve stem's at the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my pry bar in the opposite hole. I'm gonna pry up real hard back and forth. If I feel any movement, my next step is be I'm gonna reach around and put my hand on the brake pod while I pry on it. If the tire moves and the brake pod doesn't, that means I got a bad wheel bearing. If the brake pod moves as well, then that means we got a wore out kingpin and we're gonna to have to get that replaced. This one feels just fine though. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is check my tie rod ends. And how I do that is I'm gonna put my pry bar on top of the axle and then slip it up under the track rod. I'm gonna pry on it and I'm looking for any movement. This one feels good and tight. All right, so I'm at the left front now. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna rotate my valve stem to where it's at the top. Pry on it real hard. I don't feel any movement at all. Now I'm gonna do the same with my track rod. I don't feel any movement. So the rest of the front end parts are in good shape. Let's go ahead and get the hood closed. We'll pull this thing up on the machine and start our alignment. Thank <laughs> you. 